Hi, welcome to this third episode from North to East. Today's subject, as the thumbnail says, is superstition. And I just found this lovely little cafe. And being a dog for coffee shops, then this is just fantastic. I'll show you a few video shots from it, but um, brilliant bakery, good coffee, and a very nice place to be. A little bit noisy because it's right up to the main road running from uh, south to Chiang Mai. Now, I'm not gonna get into the depths of superstition here in Thailand and all what it contains or what it's about, but I will touch base on how it has um, impacted the building process, the moving process for us going to Isan. Um, the first time I actually touched base with this was when I was designing the house. It's not a big elaborate design or anything, it's a very simple place. But as I was contemplating, for instance, appreciating the sunrise, I wanted it to wake up in the morning and having my head facing west and my feet facing east so that when I woke up and I look ahead, then I'll just have this beautiful sunrise. We are in Thailand after all, right? But it didn't take long when I showed this to my wife and she commented to me and said, no, that doesn't work. In Thailand, you're not supposed to have your head heading west. It has to be any other direction, but west does not work. And I found out it's because the way they bury people out here in Thailand, they bury them heading west. So, okay, that was an adjustment to my drawings. The second one was not really a problem because I hadn't designed my house to, to do like that, but you're also not allowed to have your head uh, your bed touching the wall to which on the other side you have a toilet or a bathroom. But that was a detail. I had not contemplated doing that, so that was all good. Now, uh, we came back a couple of weeks ago and uh, we are very happy with what we saw. And uh, we very quickly went forward and uh, thought, okay, we we're going to move at the end of July. And uh, since my uh, father-in-law and bro her brothers are going to be the one helping building the house, and obviously they are not that many people, then I thought it was better if we took part of that process. That's why we were going to move at the end of July. But there was no reason for us to rush the uh, whole uh, building process. So I thought well, we will start uh, doing the shopping, start buying the materials and stuff like that in the beginning of July. And then as we get to there in the end of July, we can start the building process and everything is good. But we had not told our, uh, my, my father-in-law about this. And so about a week ago, I think it was, we got this call. He was very eager for us to get started out there. He's very, very eager for us to get out there. And uh, he said, well, well where, where are you? I mean, we got to get this started because it has to start before the 1st of July. And I was thinking, why is that? And apparently it is something about the Buddhism. They say that uh, between the 1st of July and the 1st of August, we are going to get bad luck if we uh, raise the foundation of the house, the pillars of the house in that period of time. But if we do it prior to the 1st of July, then we can do it, we can continue building on it. But we just have to have that part done and set up from the beginning. And so I thought, okay, well, it's not a biggie. We can uh, get that started. Probably they can do that for us while we're not there. Uh, because we're obviously not out in the eastern part of Thailand as it is. Um, but just to make sure that we got everything right, I asked my wife to uh, tell her father to figure out which date is then the best date for us to do it. And um, he then came back very quickly. He went straight to the monk, spoke with the monk, and the monk said, apparently, the 10th of August. Obviously, that had been seriously possible because how can we have three months from the 1st of July to the 1st of October where we could not, according to the Buddhism, Buddhism, do it, and then all of a sudden we could do it smack in the middle of it. The answer I got back was a bad boram, and obviously it is in Thai. My wife does not speak English, so does my father-in-law not, so I have to understand it by Thai terms, and that is a very difficult thing because though I do speak Thai fluently, it is everyday Thai. It is not technical Thai. I would have a very hard time going into an engine room and understanding what people are talking about. And it actually goes to a certain extent the same for Buddhism. So initially I thought that, all right, uh, I understood that the, the Bad Boram was a period from the 28th of June till the 28th of July. But what Boram was, I had no idea. I thought it was a Buddhist name or something related to that. And you could say it is, because after a few days when I finally got my act together and looked into it, it turns out that Buram means ancient. So apparently, and here you're most welcome to hit me up in the comments if you know anything about this, because I'm very curious. 
apparently there is an ancient calendar that dates before the Buddhist calendar and according to that calendar the eighth month is not a good time to build the house and the eighth month in the ancient calendar that predates the Buddhist calendar apparently I can be wrong but this is how I understood it when my wife she explained it to me then that is from the 28th of June till the 28th of July and apparently and this is what had me all puzzled then that is not every year the same thing so the calendar that dates before the Buddhist calendar is all, uh, apparently not of the same sort so anyway the deal is now that we are supposed to do the initial building in the 8th of the 10th of August so that's going to be very exciting but that also means that now that we have all sorted out with the moving thing we all have sorted it out about the moving company coming out the 30th of July we'll be actually moving to sign not just something that has already started or are really ready to get started no we'll be out there just waiting for time to pass until the 10th of August it's just about two weeks or less than two or three weeks times but then we can get started on the building process so the upside of this is obviously then I have a good chance to bring you along on the whole process from the very first stone that's laid in the ground until the final product standing there. So I'm very, very excited, very excited about it. So much looking forward to it. So yeah, I just wanted to, to share with you this little funny um, flavoring of the whole uh, uh, project here of moving to Wisan. I know that uh, my father-in-law was also involved when I got married to my wife. Uh, we got married some seven years ago and um, and he hit it very well and very interesting. That is a different story but anyway he got to choose the date there and he hit it very very spot on. Uh, why that is I'll tell you about that when we get into the topic of getting married in Thailand. So um, yes uh, there's a lot of things to be considered and there will be a lot of videos coming up with things that I'm a little bit puzzled about but more about that as well. So until next time, stay out there and keep exploring.